Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is all about the Chanel Classic Flap. So I received a request for this video a while back from a subscriber and I'm finally getting a chance to film it. The Chanel Classic Flap is my holy grail bag, specifically in the medium large size. And I had been thinking about this bag forever before I made the purchase. And I know a lot of times when people are thinking about adding a classic flap to their collection, they're trying to decide between a few different sizes. So today I'm gonna to be comparing a few different sizes of the classic flap. We're gonna be talking about the Chanel Jumbo, the medium large, the rectangular mini, and then also the vintage square mini. So I'm gonna be going over the details of each bag. I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons. I'm gonna show you a comparison of the capacity of each bag. I'm gonna do mod shots, and then I'm going to tell you which bag I prefer. And for the mod shots, I just wanted to mention that I am five feet tall. So if you're interested in learning more about how each size of the classic flap stacks up against each other, keep watching. But if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Anne. I make weekly fashion and lifestyle videos, and I would love for you to consider subscribing and coming back to see me. Okay guys, let's get into the video. Okay, we're gonna go from largest bag to smallest bag. So the first bag I have to share with you is my Chanel Jumbo, and this is in the black caviar with silver hardware. This bag is beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is a very expensive bag. This retails in the United States currently for $6,400. Now I bought mine pre-loved from Fashion File a while back, so I paid a substantial amount less than retail. And to be honest, if I was to go buy this bag again, I don't know if I could afford it, especially retail. There's no way I could pay $6,400 for this bag. Of course I would like to, but I just can't afford it. So I'm so glad that I picked up this bag when I did. I don't see myself ever selling it just because it would be way too expensive to buy it again down the road. So all my bags that I'm gonna show you today are in caviar leather, and I will say that caviar does vary from year to year and season to season. You'll be able to see that with the close-ups. The pebbles on some of these bags are a lot larger than on other bags, and then also some of the bags have a lot more of a sheen compared to the others. So that's just something to note when you're purchasing. So talking a little bit more about the details of the bag, we have the classic beautiful Chanel quilting here. Of course, you have the beautiful interwoven leather chain strap that is so classic for Chanel. It's absolutely beautiful. The hardware looks fantastic on it. It's super shiny. It is a little bit heavy, but I think it's worth it just because it's such a unique look. We have the classic flap here with the CC turn lock. Just gorgeous. And then on the back here, we have, of course, the Mona Lisa pocket, which is very beautiful. When you open up the bag, it is a double flap. You just turn the CC turn lock like this and you lift it up and you have the flap here. You have the zipper pocket up here that isn't very deep at all. It just goes up like this and Chanel made this to hold love letters. So I love that story. It's one of my favorite. And this is the double flap here. So you open up the second flap here and it snaps down right here. I don't ever snap it down. I always kind of just leave it open because it just makes it a lot easier to get in and out of. So you have the classic burgundy lining here, which is beautiful with the two CCs and the Chanel. Mine is made in Italy here. More. So let me show you a little bit more about the inside of the bag. So here in the front, you have this slip pocket, which is very nice. And then when you open up the bag here, you have this little pocket here that's circular and you can put lipstick in that. You have two slip pockets here in the back. And then the center part is just an open space. Now I know a lot of people debate whether they should get this double flap or the single flap. I went for the double flap just because it holds its structure a little bit more and that's very important to me. I know it's a little bit more cumbersome to get in and out of the bag with a double flap, but I don't really mind it. it really hasn't bothered me too much. And just having that peace of mind that the bag will hold its shape a little bit better with the double flap really, really makes it worth it to me. I will say one thing that is a pro about the single flap versus the double flap is you are able to fit more inside the bag with the single flap. When you have the single flap, you don't have to worry about the double flap right here, cutting off any space for you to add more items to it. So that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're deciding between the single flap and the double flap. You can wear the jumbo in a few different ways. The strap drop is very generous on this bag. Now, I usually like to wear it doubled up on one shoulder. You can also wear it single on one shoulder, but then it drops very, very low. The strap drop is long, like I said before. You can also wear this bag crossbody because the strap is very generous. I don't usually wear it that way just because it is such a large bag. One con about this bag is, of course, the price. It is a very expensive bag. 
It has gone up each year substantially. They are always having price increases. So this is definitely a con about this bag. I really wish they would stop with the price increases, but I definitely don't think that that's gonna happen anytime soon just because people love this bag and it is always in demand. Of course, a pro about this bag is it is Chanel and it is a classic flap. It has been around for so long. It is so classic and it's one of those bags that I think will be around forever. It will always be relevant and that's what makes it so special. So one con about this bag is since it is a lot larger and of course it is an all leather bag, it is quite heavy. And if you put a lot of items inside, it can weigh down your shoulder. Another con that might bother some people, it doesn't really bother me, but the straps can be kind of squeaky. So when you wear it, you can sometimes hear a little squeak, but again, that doesn't really bother me, but I wanted to mention it. Okay, let's move on to the medium large. Chanel. So this is my Chanel classic flap in the medium large, and I have it in the caviar leather with the gold hardware. This retails in the United States currently for $5,800. Again, I did buy this a few years ago, pre-love from Fashion File. I got an amazing deal on it. It is in great shape, and I am so glad that I got this color combo. I wanted to get the jumbo in silver hardware just because I wanted it to be more of a casual bag. I chose to get the medium large in the gold hardware because it's just so classic. And I do think that the medium large size is a great size to dress up and dress down. And so I figured that the gold hardware just gave you a little bit more wiggle room to really dress it up. So I absolutely love this bag. This was my holy grail size. It's just it's such a great bag, I love it. It looks great with jeans and a t-shirt, and then of course it looks great dressed up. But again, I am happy that I got the double flap um, just for structure purposes. Now the medium large size has a much shorter strap drop than the jumbo. And for me, I really only wear it on the shoulder. It's a little bit too short for me to wear it crossbody comfortably. You could wear it crossbody if you're okay with it sitting up pretty high, but for me, I just don't prefer that. So you can wear this doubled up on one shoulder and that makes the strap drop of course a lot shorter. I think it looks great, just single strap over one shoulder. That's my preference to wear it, but I love that you can wear it in a few different ways. Again, a con about this bag is the price. Just like the jumbo, it is a very expensive bag that just keeps on going up in price. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're trying to make this purchase. It is an investment. Now a pro is of course that you can have this forever. It will still be relevant years down the road and it will always be classic. So here's a size comparison between the jumbo and the medium large. So as you can see, the jumbo is quite a bit larger than the medium large. So I currently do not have a Chanel classic flap in the small size. That size isn't as common as some of the other sizes. I know a lot of people say that it doesn't fit very much and so they'd rather just go for the medium large. I also heard that the small size fits around the same amount as the Chanel mini, just because it does have the double flap on the small size and the Chanel mini is a single flap. So you can kind of fit the same amount in both the mini and the small size. So I know that a lot of people would rather get the medium large or the mini, especially because the mini is such a better price point. And if you can fit the same amount, why not? So this is my Chanel rectangular mini. I love this bag. I got this from Fashion File as well a few years ago. The grain caviar on this bag is a lot smaller than on the other bags that I just showed you. And I feel like there's a little bit more of a sheen on this. So I have mine in the light gold hardware, which I think is beautiful. I think it really makes it a chameleon. I think if you wear it with more silver jewelry, it can kind of swing that way. And if you go gold, it can kind of go that way as well. So if you compare the hardware on both bags, as you can see on this one, it is more of a deep gold and this is definitely more of a light gold and I really really like that about this bag so again on the mini you do have the Mona Lisa smile back pocket this is very stiff here because it is a lot smaller um, I what I love about this is it does have the burgundy lining here now when you open the CC turn lock here as you can see this does not have the zipper pocket up here and it does not have the double flap what I love about this one is it does come with the burgundy lining and I don't know if all the minis do. So I really love that about this bag because I think it does make it a little bit more like a classic flap. I also wanna add that the minis are not technically part of the classic line, although they very much are like the classic flap, just shrunken down. They are seasonal and they are a lot harder to get your hands on just because they're in such popular demand. And since they're seasonal, they just don't produce as many. Inside the bag here, you have one zipper pocket here in the back and then you have one slip pocket here. And then in the middle, it is just an empty space. And this bag really doesn't fit too much. It fits all the essentials and I am perfectly fine with this bag. 
You can wear this bag over one shoulder or you can wear it crossbody. What I love about this bag is that you can wear it crossbody. Whereas in the medium large size, the strap drop is a lot shorter on that. So I can't wear it crossbody. Some people may be able to get away with it and wear it a little bit higher. But for me, I just don't know if I can pull off that look. So when I wear the medium large, I usually just wear it over one shoulder. This, on the other hand, is great for crossbody and for over the shoulder. It really is a great long strap drop, so it looks wonderful crossbody, and that's really how I prefer to wear this bag. One pro about this bag is that if you are able to get this straight from the boutique, it is a substantial amount less than the medium large. This retails in the United States for 3,500 brand new. The issue is since these are in such demand and they don't make as many as the medium large and the jumbo, it is a lot harder to get your hands on, which means buying it from the boutique is very hard. A lot of times you have to be on a wait list and still you might not be able to get the bag. Also, Chanel varies from season to season, whether they make it in caviar or lambskin, so that's another problem. And if you purchase this, of course, on the pre-love market, which I did and which a lot of people have to do just because it's harder to get your hands on it brand new, they usually jack up the price a substantial amount, unfortunately, and that's just because of the supply and demand. So if you're able to get this brand new from the store, it is such a better deal. Another con about this bag is of course the size, the capacity is very small. I can get all my essentials in it and I'm really used to downsizing so the size doesn't really bother me but just know that it doesn't fit that much. <laughs> Up next we have my Chanel Vintage Mini. Now I mentioned in a previous video that I decided to go the vintage route versus the newer model for the mini, but just because it is a little bit larger, I do think that it fits a little bit more in it than the current mini. Another difference is that the flap comes about halfway down, whereas the new mini, the flap comes all the way down here. Again, same thing, you have the Mona Lisa pocket in the back, you have the CC turn lock, the pebbled leather on this bag is quite a bit larger than on my rectangular mini, which again shows that caviar does vary from season to season. Now, when you open it up here with the turn lock, this is the vintage model, so you do have the large CCs here on the top, which I love. Now, the inside is all black, and since it is vintage, there are a few different touches here. So the zipper here has the CCs on it and the hardware, which I think is a great touch. I think that this is beautiful detail. I love this and I really do wish that they had it on all of their bags just because I think it makes it a little special. Another beautiful detail about the Vintage Mini is it does have Chanel engraved on each of these little clips that clip the bag to the side and I just love that. Again, it's the attention to detail. I really do think that they used to do that a lot better. The bags nowadays are still very beautiful, but I think that the vintage ones really do have a little bit more detail and craftsmanship. So again, inside here, you have the zipper pocket here, you have one slip pocket here in the back, and then you have an empty space. Now, since this bag is vintage, it is very well loved. And one thing I like about that is I'm really not afraid to use this bag. I use this bag probably the most out of all my Chanel bags. Well, my rectangular too. I use my minis too the most. But what I love about this is since it is so well loved, I don't worry about it all, at all. I really don't. I wear it and I love it. I really enjoy it and I'm not so concerned about scratching it. It does have a few dings on it, but nothing bad for being as old as this is. I will say this also feels a lot more structured than the current minis. The bottom here really does feel like it is substantial and it seems like this bag will honestly never lose its shape. It just feels a little bit more well-constructed than the newer bags. Again, the sides look fantastic. It really has held up a lot. And another thing that I love about this bag is that the strap drop on the vintage mini is a lot longer than the newer square minis. And that's really another reason why I went for the vintage mini, because I wanted to be able to wear it crossbody. The current square minis, the strap drop is not very long, and if you want to wear it crossbody, it really sits pretty high. So a lot of people end up wearing it just over one shoulder. Whereas in the vintage mini, it is a lot longer and it sits crossbody perfectly. It looks great crossbody, and I'm so glad that I decided to go with this one. Now the current Square Mini brand new in the boutique retails for $3,200, so it is a little bit less than the Rectangular Mini. Again, a pro about this bag, just like the Rectangular Square Mini, is it does look just like a Chanel Classic Flap, just shrunken down. So you're getting all the Chanel look, just at a little bit better price point. 
Another con about this bag is it is also hard to get brand new from the boutique just because it is in high demand once again. It is not as hard to get as the rectangular mini. I think that's a lot of people's preferred shape, but it is still hard to get. And when you do buy it on the pre-love market, it is still quite expensive. So that is definitely a con would be, of course, the price of the bag. Of course, it is a pro if you're able to get it brand new in the store just because the price on it is very, very good in comparison to the medium, large, and the jumbo. But if you buy it pre-love, you might have to pay a premium and that is a con. Another con, of course, is that it is such a small bag. Again, it's a mini bag, so you can't fit much in it. That doesn't bother me because I'm used to downsizing and I don't carry a, a full-size wallet, so it doesn't affect me too much. Another con about the Square Mini in comparison to the Rectangular Mini is that the Square Mini is a little bit harder to pack, in my opinion. A lot of people say that it holds around the same amount. It does, but I will say you have to stack things vertically a lot more in the Square Mini than you do on the Rectangular, so you just have to be a little bit more mindful of how you pack it and you might have to pull things out in order to get the things at the bottom so that might be a con for you and I wanted to mention it. So here is the square mini in comparison to the rectangular mini as you can see the square is a little bit taller than the rectangular and of course the rectangular is a little bit wider. Another thing to notice is some of the stitching detail is a little bit different on both of these bags. As you can see on my rectangular mini, here it does not have stitching down on the front of the flap. In comparison to my square mini, which does have stitching here on the front of the flap, that's just another attention to detail that I really like about this bag. Um, I know that the stitching does vary from season to season on the mini, so my rectangular mini just might have been the season that didn't have the extra stitching. I prefer it just because I think it does look a little bit cleaner. I think it matches the rest of the bag and the stitching a little bit better, and that's my preference. Okay, let's talk capacity. So we're gonna see what I can fit in the Chanel Jumbo, and then I'm gonna transfer the contents from this bag into the others. So again, it is just a big, large, open space here. We are gonna start with a full-size wallet just because this bag can fit one. So I will go ahead and slide that in. Next, we will put my keys because I always have to have my keys. I'm gonna throw in my mini pochette by Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna put in the Chanel card holder. I'm gonna put in my Louis Vuitton round coin purse. I'm gonna put in my Louis Vuitton clay. I have room for another card holder by Chanel. We're gonna slide in my Rosalie coin purse. Obviously, I would not carry all of these wallets with me at one time, but I wanna show you everything that can fit in it. So here we go. Okay, now we're gonna throw in a compact here and a lipstick. We're gonna put in a small brush, and then we're gonna put my sunglasses in a soft case right on top. And then lastly, we're gonna slip my phone right in the front pocket here with the Rosalie coin purse. So as you can see, this is pretty full. You could still definitely get a few makeup items in here, some more lipstick and a few other small things, but that's pretty much the capacity here. Now let's see if we can close it. Now as you can see, it closes no problem here. Now this is a lot more than I would ever carry in this bag just because it does make this bag very heavy. Again, it's already an all leather bag, so it's already pretty heavy. And then of course you add on the chain strap. And then if you pack it this full, I do think that it would pull on your shoulder a little bit, but it is nice to know that it does fit so much in it. Okay, just to recap, we have my sunglasses in the soft case. We have a small brush. We have my lipstick. Chanel small card holder. Rosalie coin purse by Louis Vuitton. We have my phone. We have a small compact, my keys and the six ring key holder by Louis Vuitton. We have my Louis Vuitton clay, my full size Emily wallet by Louis Vuitton. We have my Louis Vuitton mini pochette, my Chanel zip card holder, and we have the Louis Vuitton round coin purse. So that is everything that I was able to get into this jumbo. That's quite a bit. And again, you will be able to put even more in a single flap. I definitely don't think I would need to put more in. Um, I do think that this fits quite, quite a bit. I think it fits your essentials plus so much more. So if you like larger bags, then you should definitely check out the Jumbo. Okay, let's see what we can get into the Chanel medium large flap. Again, we are gonna start off with the full-size Emily wallet just because it can fit in here. So I wanna add it just in case you like a full-size wallet. We will then put in my keys because I always need my keys. The mini pochette is quite large and it will take up most of the room in it. You can get it in, as you can see, but then it is very, very full. 
And honestly, if you were to put the full-size wallet in, the keys, and the mini pushette, that is all I would probably carry in this bag. You can, of course, slip your phone here in the front and maybe a lipstick or two, but that's pretty full. That's all I would carry in it if I was to carry the mini pushette. I would not. I would actually probably carry some smaller items in here just so I could get more. So let's just take out that full-size Emily wallet and let's put in one of my card holders to see. So we'll put in the Chanel zip card holder. We will take out the mini pochette because as I said, it does take up the majority of the room. So far we have the Chanel zip card holder and we have my Louis Vuitton key, six ring key holder. So we have those two items in there. Let's put in a Chanel small slim card holder. We will put in my key clay by Louis Vuitton. That is what it's looking like so far. We will put in my compact. We can put in the round coin purse. We can put in the Rosalie coin purse by Louis Vuitton. We got my lipstick. And let's see if we can get the sunglasses on top. As you can see, the bag can close. It's pretty full right now. And of course it does feel a little heavy now because it is stuffed, but it does close. And again, this is more than I would carry in this bag. So the items that I was not able to fit in this bag that I was able to fit in the jumbo are my mini pochette, my full size wallet, and the hairbrush. But let me just show you one more time what it looks like inside here. It's fully packed. Again, you could slide your phone right here in the front. I don't think that would be a problem, but that's pretty much all I would put in this bag. So as you can see, it does fit quite a bit. It definitely fits your essentials plus a little bit more. Obviously not as much as the jumbo, but I can still get everything I need to in this bag. Next up, let's see what we can get into my Chanel mini. So again, we just have the open space right there. So of course, you're not gonna be able to get the full size wallet in, it won't fit. So we're gonna go with a smaller wallet. I also wanna note that the mini pochette can fit inside this bag, but as you can see, it takes up the entire bag. So I definitely would not carry this when I'm carrying this bag. So we're gonna put in my Chanel zip card holder. We are going to put my six room key holder because I need my keys. We will put in a Chanel slim card holder. We'll put my compact in and we'll put my phone. And lastly, one lipstick. That, that's able to close nicely. It's not bulky at all. And this is what it looks like inside. So as you can see, it is very, very full. You might be able to get one more lipstick in it, but that's all I would carry inside this bag. So to recap, these are the items that I was not able to get in. I could not get my mini pochette in. Obviously not the full size wallet. Couldn't get the Rosalie coin purse in. The clay, the round coin purse small brush and I couldn't get the sunglasses in so it does fit all your essentials it really just depends on how much you carry day to day all right now let's see what we can get into my square vintage mini again of course the full-size wallet will not fit inside so we will go with something smaller the mini pochette does fit inside but again it takes up the entire room so we will not be using that we will put in the zip card holder by Chanel we'll put in my keys the slim card holder by Chanel we'll put in the key clay my small compact, my lipstick, and my phone. Now that does close. It is a little bit tight, so to be honest, I would probably take one item out of this just to make sure that it could close a little bit nicer. So I am going to take out, so I'm gonna take out the compact here, and I think it will close a lot easier. Yes, it closes a lot easier. So again, you can get your essentials in plus a little bit more, but it is a very small mini bag. So these are the items that did not go inside. So my full size wallet, of course, the mini pochette, the sunglasses in the soft case, the Rosalie coin purse, the zippy coin purse, the small compact and the brush. Oh, let me show you guys again really quickly. As you can see, it fits almost the same amount as the rectangular mini, just a little bit differently. And so which bag do I prefer? Well, right now I probably am wearing my two minis the most, just because they are so easy to grab and go. They really do go with everything. And the fact that you can wear them crossbody, I think you can really dress them down and wear them more casually, which I love. They also can be dressed up because they're such small bags. They really can look dressy, especially depending on the way you wear them. I would have no problem wearing these with a dress or to a wedding. I think that they would look very beautiful and very chic. So this is what I'm wearing the most of right now. But my all time favorite size is the Chanel medium large. I absolutely love this. Again, it was my holy grail bag. 
it still is. I think that this is the perfect size for me. I love how much it fits in it. I do think that it can fit quite a bit. I don't carry so much, so I know some people say that this does not fit enough, but for me, it fits more than enough. I think that the size is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's small enough that you can wear it dressy. I would have no problem wearing this to a wedding or dressed up anywhere. But I also think that it looks fabulous with jeans and a t-shirt. If I could only have one of these bags, it would be the medium large. I think it's so versatile and I just absolutely love it. And in this size, I do think it is the most classic. Okay guys, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to consider subscribing. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.